Okay, so you probably clicked on this video thinking I'm crazy or whatever. And for the most part, you're right. But hear me out. My journey from studying has, and experimenting with study techniques, has really transformed over the last couple of years. And what I've come to realize is that you'll never be able to learn every lecture and all the content and you simply don't have enough time to watch and go to every lecture. If you still want to enjoy the finer things in life, you know, you only have 24 hours in a day and there's so much you want to do. You know, you got to put your clothes on, take them off, brush your teeth, play video games, all that jazz. And universities don't appreciate that enough. And I made this video because I want you to understand some of the things that I've learned over the course of studying that have helped me to still be able to do those things without feeling overwhelmed. So I'm going to try and show you what changes you can make to your own study routine and what I've learned over the course of the last couple of, of, last couple of years. <laughs> Eight. Nearly every lecture you do will have a list of learning objectives at the start of the lecture and that is important because you don't need to watch the lecture after that. They've told you what you need to learn. Use the learning objectives as a reference and if you get stuck on something, then watch specific areas of the lecture. But otherwise, go straight to the textbook or go straight to finding questions that seek to answer that learning objective. That way, you can make the learning more active instead of just sitting there, you know, on a Tuesday morning with thinking about a million other things and not really focusing on what the person is saying. And you need to take control of your own learning and you really need to find ways to think about how you can address that learning outcome because that's what they're going to assess you on in the exam and if you look for information that answers that you get a better understanding of what they're trying to ask. Can I just draw your attention to this view right here? Oof. Look at this balcony. I love it. This is my place in Canberra. So nice. Very good. <clears throat> okay, so we, so we know Anki cards, space repetition, they're legit. Like, they work. They save time. You don't have to go to the lectures. Few of my friends have just completely done away with looking at lectures. They just rely on Anki cards to get the job done. And they're some of the better students in our grade. And I myself use a combination of flashcards and I still look at the lectures and look at the learning outcomes, but they're great examples of people who just do the flashcards, do question banks, don't even go to lectures or even look at the lecture slides. And they're doing great in medicine. Also, another thing I want to say, I'm back in Canberra and I got my staff finally feeling like a doctor doing those stethoscope like things that you use this for but this brings me to another important point think about what you're learning not just in terms of passing a test think about it in the context of a career if you know there's there's two types of people that um, my tutor always tells me about um, there's the people that see the whole forest and there's people that see the individual tree, so the roots and the branches and the type of bark and the type of leaves. And you got to find a balance between getting bogged up in the details and missing something important if you're looking at things too broadly. So, there's a cat looking at me <laughs> over there. <laughs> but, 
yeah, that's all I want to say, you know. Just go out there and, and do your best and and stop watching lectures because they're taking up so much of your time and you don't even retain that much of the information.